Here's problem 2313. A particle, mass 5 grams, charged 40 millicoulombs, moves in a region of space where the electric field is uniform, and given by E sub x is 2.5 newtons per coulomb, E sub y is equal to E sub z is equal to 0. If the velocity of the particle at t equals 0 is given by V sub y is 50 meters per second, V sub x, V sub z is 0, what is the speed of the particle at t equal 2 seconds? All right, let's try to simplify this problem into what's actually going on. We've got a particle. Mass is 5 grams, 5 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. Charge is 40 millicoulombs, 40 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs. We have an electric field in the positive x direction, magnitude 2.5 newtons per coulomb, and we have initial velocity in the y direction of 50 meters per second. Actually that would be just the y velocity in the y direction. So that's really what's going on in a very simplified sense. And because of our uh, electric field in the x direction, we are going to have an acceleration in that direction. In other words, mass times acceleration will equal QE. This is in the x direction. So the acceleration in the x direction will equal the charge to mass ratio times the electric field. So that is going to be 40 millicoulombs over 5 grams times the electric field which is 2.5. The 10 to the minus 3's cancel out and we're going to end up with 8 times 2.5 or 20 meters per second squared. So that's our acceleration in the x direction. We have no acceleration in the y direction. So in the x direction we have initial velocity of 0, a acceleration, which we just found at 20 meters per second squared, a time of 2 seconds, and we want to find our final x velocity. So it's kinematics at its best, and we have our final x velocity is equal to our initial velocity plus acceleration times time, in this case, our initial velocity is zero in the x direction. So that's going to equal 20 meters per second squared times 2 seconds, or 40 meters per second. We know our y velocity is constant. The whole time, it's 50 meters per second. So at the end of 2 seconds, this particle, we're going to end up with this particle moving with two component velocities. It's going to have an x velocity of 40 and a y velocity of 50. And the net velocity will be the vector sum of these two. So in terms of magnitude, our velocity is going to equal our x component squared plus our y component squared square root. And that's going to be 40 squared plus 50 squared square root. And that is 64.0 meters per second. So after two seconds, the speed of the particle, the magnitude of its velocity is 64.0 meters per second. It's going at some angle, which we could calculate if we were asked for that, but the final speed is 64 meters per second.